Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's going on, folks? It's Test Two Pierre, and we are ready for another matchup: the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This next matchup, we're about to see what's going on for our great matchups in between: Carolina Hurricanes and Tampa Bay Lightning. Our next matchups of the two. Now it's time for another commentary. I will have as OJ, and he is also along with the other commentaries with Wood Spoonie and also the third commentary of the crew. I have one of the biggest, and because you all may have noticed for Tyler Beast and Center Ice is all you know for Son of Beast. We'll be back with you shortly right after this game, but game six, here we go. Carolina, can they win this series? Or Tampa Bay to tie this series up and then head to game seven. Let's roll back at Tampa Bay. It's the matchup in Tampa Bay. Lightning and Hurricanes, Battle of the Storm Pack. Here we are. We're ready to start things in Holy Arena for Game Six. I'm here in OJ along with my commentary partners in between a Wit Spoonie and Tyler Bates. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We start this way down to the right wing, and now he finds it again to Tara Binding. Mr. Levine trying to swing it across and now Cobb jump shot stopped made by Veseleski. We are underway now with no score to game in game six. So lots of time up in this period. So no score and looking for a first one in game six. Now the win for terrifying and a shot stopped made by Veseleski. And here's the pass over again to Kucherov. Kucherov losing it down, shoots it! Big save by Kuchikov. This one's absolutely taking a better use of his angle skills. It's not just the lead back, it had to get it through. The key to Kuchikov is where his take to take zone abilities and has a awareness pressuring in his folks. That's why he has a longer range to go with the pass. Sebastian Ajo has one of his third eye technique in this position. His better stances are putting in for a lot of chance in between. But his better range has to be a clearable to have that finish out right at the lineup. I'll try to find out if there's a both of them too, right in between the Hurricanes of Sebastian Agro and Nikita Kucherov for the Lightning. Back to you guys. Do so Lightning with the shot in direct traffic and it goes back again to Reddish. Reddish begin to point. Moves around the poke in the zone. Then again to Kucherov shot. Good save! Kuchikov to hold that puck of under 19 minutes. Lots of time over this period. No score in this game for the first period. Down the win puts it in for the Lightning. Haven't lost the puck as Bunny will try to recover it back the airway. Gives it off to Skudgy. Skudgy shot. Big stop by Veselevsky. The other way it goes happening here for Vasilevsky, that has to be a way harder to make that projection and go with the better stoppage of the bound. Has to be the right way to get this thing through. Who's the win for the Hurricanes? Lose the puck! Victor Redman grabbing the puck out of here, and now he has to recover. Give it over again, back into Sherry. Sherry, moving it in. Lose the puck. Kenji back the airway into the lightning zone. For a shot, and he's tripped up. That's going to be Radish's first penalty call in game six. Now, that's not going to happen like that. You know that's a bad penalty start for an attempt by lightning. That's not going to help them affect him. That goal is do not take over with anybody. But he's already been left out. He just had that one smacking somebody out. Victor Hedman is one of his stick him up ability on defense. The stronger the ability to take, the more he has it stick lifted or poke checked in between. It's a hard ranging matchup, but I'll find out if Victor Hedman will take that puck out of here and set it down while the power play is on for the Hurricanes. 
Macius now finds it over again on the other side. It's now Skeji. Will lift it up and it's now a hit bit again to Mote. Furbis will now find it again to Hedwin. Trying to get it out. A little bubble take down here now by Mote. Mote right to the right wing. Scoops it around the net. For the shot. Stop me by Kuchakov. Uh, we're now finding the deliver over to Bunning. Bunning right toward the center of it. Traffic neutralizes as Victor Edmund clears the puck out. The schedule will have it over back to Bunning. But the shot blocked up. Here's Jarvis right toward the left wing. He fires up up right around the net and Edmund will have it. Try to give out to Furbitz. Gives again to Monte. Monte shoots! Saved by Kuchekov. Monte loses that puck as they just gets the Ajo. 30 seconds for the Canes power play. 6 0, 5 to go in the first. Jarvis shot. Backhander stopped by Veselovsky. 60 1 left to go in the first period. Hey, it's better what you all take here. Veselovsky had a little bit of confidence out there, but that certainly did like it. It's great. Just make it easier enough if you get there. Now the win puts it in. Ford, Cernax's team. Short game the teams are playing a lift, lift to puck out of the zone. Svechikov started to cross right to Drury. Looks like Radius is back out there, ready to go. Nose in. Moving around the chain. Shines blocked. Great stop up from here for Radius' time for the short game. Because they're really like pushing a lot of pressure in now. And it's not going to be easier what they are expecting. Now. Because that is what they need to do. Keep it in there as tight as they come. Don't let anybody try to get over it. Uncomfortable feeling. And it's not going to be uh, takeable enough to have it all. Great SmackDown for the Tampa Bay Lightning as Soroli will now have to prove. Soroli over with the shot. Stop made by Svechikov. Stamkos now has it over. Slides across for the shot. Big stop by Korchakov. Under 15 minutes in the regular first period, no score in the game. Now the both teams are set ready for the faceoff. The win puts in for Drury. Now he finds Burns again to Slavin. Slavin trying to give over to Burns. Now Burns will have it stick over to Snatchez. Off to Bunning. Bunning shoots. He went down, trying to get back over to Natchez. Lose the puck effort. Trying to hold it back. Natchez shot. Big stop on the chain. Steven Stepko snap on Stehan. Looks the ball. Ball right to the right wing. Find Sherry shot. Blocked it up by Slavin, and he now will have that puck in. Racing towards the lightning zone. Big stop here. So really, lose that puck. Stahl trying to watch the offside call. While they never lose the puck as Mark as Burgess will have it. Toward the right wing, gets again to Chaffee. For a chance in front of Sorelli! Big save! Jarvis trying to follow the puck out. Slavin, back again to Burns. Burns right toward the left wing. Move around shot, big save! Now Jarvis will have a puck again to Slavin. Slavin shot, off the glass, and it goes right to Dijon. Ismael with the puck with only under 13 minutes to go. Trying to go for a lead up, and no chance here as Kochekov stops the puck with under 13 minutes. Now the faceoff ready to go. Still a no score to game. The wind puts in for Lightning. Lover gets the angle. Third act shot. Redirected traffic shot. What a stop! That goes up and it goes back the other way. Now that is definitely what happens here because that was Coach Akoff and that really great sight. Better take it over. It's just all what happens now. But the wilder and easier was taking it in here. Don't let anyone try to escape that pocket. Brody Nagel now finding Kucherov. Lost that effort and it goes back to Svechikov. Puts a hit. Now it's back to Kegel. Over to Cernak. Fires a shot. Misses wide. Here's Pesky with the puck. 
Oh, we're a chance now. Point with the steal. A chance for a lead. He scores! Brian Point closing the corner on the post. Now that was a heavy trap. Look, you go out right toward the both of you, you're facing a one-on-one -on -one attack. That is a great lighting happening now. Pass it over. Knock it out. That's a great stop. They now have the ball and it's now a one-on-one guy. The easier one happens to be the way of the point. You just really made this one great. Closing the quarter to the between. I was really impressed with how that happened, but they were really noticing that one came in flying by. They were really expecting that. They wanted to have it all. Coming down. They closed the right to the point. Now they have the ball. 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 Now they have Hammond squeezes the zone for a chance to Monte. Big stop by Kochekov. 11-12 to go in the first period. Gains the time for an air face-off. Official game set, ready for the face-off. One nothing is Tampa Bay Lightning. Kakinami wins the face-off as Peshki will have it again to Fox. And he picks a big hit already. A big smackdown now back to Gunbin. Hammond trying to look his way across. Lightning shot, big stop on the pad. Jarvis trying to get that puck and recover by Slavin. Now Besky will have it over again to Kakinami. Carolina back in the offensive attack zone. Jarvis for time. Big stop by Vizalitsky. Ready, he shows that puck in now back to your way. Slavin gives again to Markinuk. Stops in front of his center ice zone as Gedman will now have it in the wing. Fires a shot. Too much congestion up front. It's still almost going to be a puck taken over. But that one makes a great save by the goaltender. You know how that happened here because of Kuchar Kopp. He just made this one a really great take. Not always easy, you can tell. But that is what you have to do. Keep playing it. Play hard, smart. Stop by Vendelevsky. Past the midway mark of the period, getting ready for the face-off. Now the teams are set, ready for the face-off. One nothing to score. Now it's off the wing for Carolina. Great blockage in the zone. Step goes right toward the right wing. Sherry with the recovery rebound. Trying to go with the revenge look, but they just has that puck back. Lose the puck up for now by Natchez. A chance in front of the play is the final habit. Stamkos has it across into the right wing. Speeding up ahead is Chatfield. Past the nine minute mark, now find again to Natchez. Bunny with the puck. Give to get to Drury. Stamkos with the puck steal. Weave it around a bit. Chatfield with the puck steal. Now he will have it over to get to Bunning. Bunning trying to go for a tie shot. Good save by Veselovsky. Holding a play with moving at 8.30 mark. It's a 1-0 game. Teams are set ready for a face off. Still looking like they wanted to get this thing an early stop range. Tampa Bay wins the face off. Perfect step playing again to Hagel. Hagel with the puck now playing again to Kucherov shot. Misses a target. Rebound again, shoots it. That goes chopping up and a shot blocker stopping the way and it goes back to Hagel. Point to the chance for a rebound stop by Kucherov. A full pressure on Tampa Bay. Well, this never be out to be easier at all. That Kucherov made a great save and take it in. I know. Just what you can't just really admit like a play for. You can't make him stop for. You don't have a payback call. So don't take it anyway. Burbix. Moves it around. Lenny Kucherov. Lose the puck. Such a call does it back. Toward the middle of love save. going to hold that puck with just 7.45 to go in the first period. Now it's a number attacker ready to go. In between 1-0. Tampa Bay. As the win puts in for Stahl, Kevin will now have it again to Hagel. Hagel fires that puck out. 
Sketchy with the puck. Opposite wing. Finds to get a Jarvis shot. What a stop! As the Lusty rolls the play with just 7.17 to go. Now the wing for the Lightning. Heaven over to Isabel. Taking it along the wing, trying to look for a cut play. Jeffy Strzok, he scores! Nice shot! That's an old playoff goal in summer dog for Jeffy. It means he won't take it in the match over Jeffy to have that goal. After his last chance, he had a great goal in our Jeffy to pick up in his team. You know, he's going to take over here for Mitchell Jeffy. That's even the pass they were in this one was easy amount to take the end of the shot. And that one was excellent for him. For Mitchell Chaffee with another goal, and he took it right away. And Fred tries to go down in the first period. Two goals to score, take the play at the end. Stoll with the face up, a sketchy will now have it again to Jarvis. Jarvis lost the puck. Trying to push it out of here. Evan will now try to give it over back the airway. Looks to Chaffee. Chaffee just a rolling shot. Had stopped back by Kuchekov. Pass key. 6 30 left to go in the first. Martin Nick will try to get it over in. Brady is 6 o'clock back to Chappy. Chappy fires it around the net. Slab it. Got it again. Right to Sachikov. Sachikov moving his way in. Shot left saved by Vezilevsky. Six or three left to go in the first. Just easy enough that you can definitely just want a side now because the Vasilevsky, he got great big of size in the guy. Have to be a close one call, but nothing is going to keep you down here for anybody's guy. Now here's Steven Semkos with only under 16 minutes to go in the first. Sherry, move around with a sharp big stop by Kurchakov. Goldtain is going to hold off with the whistle here, and this will be another face off on its way. Now the roll for the faceoff. Two goals to score, Tampa Bay. Lightning wins the faceoff, and he misses a target. Good stop down here as Sherry has it over to Slavin. Now that is a buckable play that nobody has never decided. That is like taking over the pocket. You're never going to let that happen again. Terabyte in. Loose the puck. Back to Terabyte in. Burns gets it over again to Svechikov. A chance of Burns. In front! Oh, that was a little too close, but it's off the goalpost and he covers the puck up. Just five away to go in the first period. Now they're up for another face off. Still a 2 0 game. Carolina trying to have an answer back. Now the win will put it up. Here's Hammond. Gives it over to Stamkos. Stamkos. Fires it! They deny by the goaltender with under five minutes to go. Now the next face off is on. Between Tampa Bay and Carolina. Face off win for Paul. Big stop play by the goaltender. There are nothing to expect it now, but they were really are just letting that one go by the flow. They had nowhere else to run. They have nowhere else to keep on going. I keep them playable. It's just not turned what they expected. Ago now finds again. Over to Svechikov. Svechikov with the full sprint of bed. Gives again to Slavin. Terrifying in. Moves the puck. Back it over to Sherry again at that boom. Looks to Stamkos. Stamkos right toward the middle, fires it! Big stop! Stamkos in the rebound in! Misses the target! Ball right toward the right wing, and Hermits shoots! And it's missed a wide. Slavin now over to get a Svechikov. Svechikov right over in the pass and it's broken up. Jury will now try to reset it over back the airway. Again to Slavin, gives again to Svechikov. Here's Svechikov right toward the wing. 
Matrix moves around, misses the target, it's off the pad by Gazalewski. That's going to be a little bit of a difficult way to get this thing through. I don't know what's going to happen now, but this is what they don't really see enough to get that from here. They've got to play it in there as long as he gets to the corner. Kujawa blocks his shot. Three minutes to go in the first period. And a good stop rumble down, and this will go back again to Buddy. Gives again to Pesky. To Natchez. Natchez loses that puck. The pass off to Pesky. There you go with the puck seal now finding point. On his way down, lose the puck. But he now finds Drury. Shoots! Pad stop! And Dijon will have it over. The lightning under full pressure. Bombs it across to the wall or in the blue line and Pesky will have it back. Here's Drury. Toward the middle. Fires it! What a stop by Veselewski! Oh, that's what they all expect from Veselewski. Their fans are applauding him. Boy, I love the tip. You know, I was not even surprised about that because uh, Andre Veselewski, he made this one a really a bad save. A little bit too close to call at that point. That was a great stop and sort of play inbound. And if Ron Kings had a rebound, there's no way that Veselewski would have had that one loose the puck. But he wants to tie it up for his save. That's a great reaction. Stahl wins the face off. Track field shot. Good catch by Veselowski. We are under 10 minutes already, and Veselowski is not quitting out. I know. He's still on, still on his feet the whole time. Stahl wins the face off. Orlov shot. Pat safe here. And now the full pressure comes on for Carolina. Orlov shot. Jarvis back to Chatfield. Get on the board, Kucherov takes a buck steal. And Braden Point. Swivel around, shoots, save play. Now Wayne again the ball over the headband. Block that shot, stall, that's the back of the Martin up. In the left wing. Knock the puck out. Radius. Kicks the puck. Now Brian to Jarvis. Jarvis went down, coming down to a final minute of the first period, and here's a takeover. Furbix losing the puck and playing boundaries with the pass look. And Orlov has it across. Fast shot, for the rebound. No take here. Sherry has the puck back. Over now, on the pass look to Stemkos. Here's Hepman, over to Sherry, shot. No deflection given in, and this way it's up and redirected back to the Hurricanes. Cross goes down, as Sherry will have it. He now tries to get over to Radius. Fires that puck around the net, and Slavin will have it over. Give again to Nozen. Nozen, push up, and blocked up by Edmund. That ends the first period. Two goals for the Lightning. Great save by Vizalevsky. We'll get right to the second period when we come back after the break. Welcome back to the Lowell Arena. We're ready to start the second period of the playoffs. And it's about that time. We're ready to get this thing back and ready to go with the clean sheet of us. All right, guys, I'm going to take the other two. Let's see how you take sides for the first period. The play really well. A perfection alley to start things over for the time of my working. And they really are trying to get this ready. All in perfect shape for gun. Playing it for the real tough games is not always easier than keeping it alive before. As you may already notice that it was very a uh, hard thing that has come in and bound. But I'm pretty sure that they're going to keep on going and going. Hopefully it doesn't hurt take. And he scores! Brett Burroughs with the goal with Ted Parson, the start of the second period. They're now on the board. You know, an easier way it happened to be Brett Burns, who just made this one a go. Got a great one to take. A lot of short range, and then a rebound put it in. Great job. Now it's on a 2-1 pressure game in the second period with 19.16 to go in the second. Now the win puts it in for point, as Radish will now have it over to get a point. Here's Kucherov. A pass over to Angle shot. Almost in! It's not over! That one is off the ball through and off the heat, and it's a stop three more. Well, the problem that happened to me when they were expecting that, because watch how the ball happens. You see that player? That is off the show. 
shoulder and this one goes right underneath the elbow and it's just right in the neck. That causes some problems out there, but that's not really what they're expecting you to do. Because they don't play it like that. They've got to fix it on our way to beat us. Here's point. Loose the buck up or not playing to get a creature off. Here's angle, back the other way. To kick the buck out of here. Here's another one for Dingle. He scores! Two goals in the game! Pass the ball on the three! That was pretty crazy. That was the flex the goaltender and after long it up. Because that was the key to put you off with two assists in the gun, he can throw it in the high court. He's going to pop it in and it's beauty. That was watching around and that one was it. It's because of the Peter Kucherov can take the tape so it's the better of this one is to keep that ambitious pace. Even if up the Vinky, it's a good attempt for it and the Tampa Bay Lightning side their advantage of, they can try to really step up their game and get right into the board. They really are knocking things out of here, but hopefully this might be a third goal for Brandon Hagel. He scores! This really is as now his first goal, that's three goals in the game. Out of another one, that's five in the playoffs. You don't see me down because of Jack Drury. He just had that one, he's taking away from the goaltender, and that one just really made the rebound in. And off the pad, but that one gave it back to Drury, and that timing was a little bit off. Carolina trying to step up, down by two. 18-23 left to go in the second period. Now the win puts in for Edmund. Edmund now finds Paul. Here's Paul with the shot, and a stop in with a goaltender. Hey, hold on to that. Pointing back the airway. Trying to move across to Drury. Drury over with the shot. It's blocked up the play by Veselovsky. Nick Paul decided to do another trick. Slavin, hip again to Burns, and now finding Natchez. Over and out to Drury. Drury got a big hit. Natchez trying to hold the puck in. Now Reddish will have it over and out to Hedman. Hip again to Paul. To Paul over and out to find the pass. Loses the effort. Still have it covered back. And Sherry with a shot glove saved by Kochekov. Oh, he seems like he's a little bit getting gas by the word, but he's not just keeping out of here. He's still keeping it alive. Here's the win for Cerulli. Righty hitch, loose it in, big save! Sharpie now finds again a righty hitch shot. That stopped by Kochakov. 17 and 6 to go in the second period. Full pressure coming on for the Lightning if they win their face-off. Four to the score for Tampa Bay. Ago wins the face-off and Sketchy will clear the puck out. Chaffee trying to regroup their team. Darylion in gets it out. Right toward the wing. Darylion is Petrikov. The big C. This one gets back to Isabound. Isabound right toward the right wing. Moving in the front, right edge with a shot, stopped the gap at a goaltender. Sorelli's shot, blocked up as Ajo with the rebound. The Burkings are back in the offensive zone, two on two opportunity range. Stopped the play by Veselovsky. Puck sails out of play, and up to the day. Well, that's because Veselovsky had just gotten great use of his skill. Keeping that puck out of here is great, but that one gets a good deflection and that one goes right up to the dotting. Gotta give that one a good set. Lots of time up in this period. Still looking for a goal for Carolina. It's still 4-2. Now the win puts in for Fox. Slavin shot. Big stop by the players. Paul has it back. Paul now finds Sherry. Sherry right toward away, he gives again the Stemco shot. Good save! Slapping that by stall. Over now to Marnock. Marnock right toward the right wing. Dion's got that puck. Sherry back to Paul. Paul racing inbound. Slapping with the puck back again to Marnock. 
Marduk watching carefully here. He went down with a piece of it. Jarvis shot big stuff on the goaltender. Deion's got that puck down trying to find the other way in. The wrap back to Sherry. Praying down to Stemkos. Misses the opportunity. Stemkos, foul along the puck. Stall back to Burns again to Slavin. Looks again to Jarvis. Spins across that by Stall. Loose the puck upward. Stall. Loses the effort. Natures. Shot saved by Vizalevsky. Oh, he's been doing really well, actually. Got to keep that in there, and this one is not going to let that one slow him down. Near the back half of the period, still a 4 2 game. Now the win puts in for Tampa Bay is Kaspersky. Lost the puck and bound it back again to Tampa Bay zone with the save by Vizalewski. Here's Point. Point will get his way. Big stop by Kuchekov. Peshki has it again to Budding. Past the 15 minute mark in the period. Good pit back here by Natchez. Bunting. Lost the puck. Sardax gives again to Kucherov. Kucherov right to the wing. Fires a shot. Pesky with a blocked shot. And Drury will have it over. Gracie turns him out. And it's a shot. Big stop play. Wilbur gives again to Kucherov. Kucherov looking for point. Point going around the blank range. Kucherov trying to recover the ground the puck. And a slow stop by Kuchikov. Really easy side. Doesn't really match a bay because Kuchikov. Got to keep it alive. Now we're talking about Andrzej Vesilevsky. He's been a really part of Russian of a hockey goaltender, and he was drafted in the first round of the 29th in the 19th overall in the 2012 NHL entry draft. Widely regarded as one of the best goaltenders in the NHL and possibly in the league history. Well, you can definitely know what happens right now because his also name is Big Cat. He won the Vezina Trophy as the league's top goaltender in 2018 and 19 season. And was nominated for the 2017 and 11th, the 18th NHL season. He's led the league in wins for five consecutive games. And playing career was happened to be junior. It's a solid at Yalia Yufa in the first round in the KHL Junior Draft 2011. And that's definitely one of the best displays here. Early life happened to be assigned with the Syracuse Crunch as the American Hockey League and the top minor league affiliate of the Tampa Bay Lightning. He's really well at that point. I mean, I was really hoping that Andre Vesilevsky might have another changeup to be the best goaltenders in the history of the league. Nice stop made by Vesilevsky. You know, everybody's standing right now because they all salute to Vesilevsky. He's been a goaltender on the blocks. Isabel wants the puck and now gets to Slavin over getting to her Biden. Here's Abu at the airway now trying to get to Slavin. Give it to Svechikov. In the middle of the road, stop by Vesilevsky. 11.51 to go in the second period, ready for an earth face off. We have an update for you. The Houston, for its next stop location at the New York, is sold out. So there's only one left to go check it out in Seattle before all the tickets are gone. And there's not much time left, so don't wait. There'll be there'll be a bunch of tickets that will be slowly out on every location. Every part of it. Three locations sold out. One for New York, one for Houston, and then Florida for Florida. So this is your last chance before the before all tickets are gone. Big stop play. And if you're all watching for the uh, the new episode of the FDI TBOT, episode 11 is on its way next. And season two, we kick it off to return for its new episode with the final four competitors in season two after suspension for 2012 by Hurricane Sin. And we're happy to have you back. And a glove saved by Vesilevsky. 11 3 to go in the second period. Ready to have another face off. In deal and head. What a stop. Andre Vesilevsky has a contortionist on his way with a wild save. His better authentic way he has done for us a lot of the great settlings of his score run to break the chain. But this one happened to be a nice saving on the play and bound 
and he's been knocking it in here. Best plays of the game happens to be one of them. Brzezowski holds up up with 10.47 to go in the second. The critical draw here between Carolina and Tampa Bay. Got a win puts in his head dribble by went over again to Gardich. Gets it again to Bengal. Full pressure's off for the Carolina Hurricanes. It's Kucherov off 11. Besky with the puck steal. He's it over now to Natchez. Taken along by Drury. Drury trying to push it out. Braden Point looking for a cut now for a blank range and another stop by the goaltender. Bagel gets the headman. Point with his full speed. And a big hit, a long moment to Victor Edmund. That was what I expect from Victor Hartman knocking somebody out. That is a great out of playable amount of Point, lose the puck after his point last rebound. Headman. With the rebound to point, and there's a penalty called on Carolina. Passing a midway mark in the period, it's now 4 2. As Brayden Sketchy is in the penalty box. You can't just play it like that. Brayden Sketchy is scouting that slash, and you're not allowed to do this. Now they're going to get a power play for the Bulls. Steven Santos is one of his one T ability. His better range is taking a one time slap goal, and he might be looking for his way down if he has another chance in. I'll find out if Steven Santos gets his power play to knock him out. Sebastian Alvo right to it away. For a shot, save puts up by Bezolowski. Chaffee with the puck right into the right left wing at the top. In the corner down the ball shot. For the rebound, this way is right through the net. And a shot stopped made by Kuchikov. Victor Batman, the deep pass to Chaffee. Here's Steven Senkos, fires it. No deflection put in for Tampa Bay. Bunny gets the fuck out. The Lightning regaining the group and now finding Edmund. Here's Paul back the other way, back and over to HFP. Shoots, it's stopped made by the goaltender. Chaffee loses the puck, and Jaravainen will have that one settling in to Burns. Shotfield, toward the right wing, fires it up. And the win, and this one goes in to Stamkos with 45 seconds for Tampa Bay. Stamkos now finding his amount again to Paul. Ball in behind the net, step a shot, stop made by Coach Paul. 8-10 to go in the second period. Getting ready for the third period after the clean sheet of ice to get back to work. Brilliant point is one of his close quarters of the game. His better range is fading in, guys, but hopefully if this blanking bound turns it in, he will have another chance effort for Brilliant Point to close the gap in on his power play effort. And Sorelli now finds point. Play moves around for three, nothing. Stop me by Kuchikov. Under eight minutes to go in the second. Lightning still trying to have an answer to go up on the lead extension. And they're off to do it again. As the wind puts it up, here's Orlov. Brennan Scotch is ready to get that back out there. Hagel's got that puck. And the power play is over for Tampa Bay Lightning. Just playing went really well here for Kuchekov, and this wasn't really what they were expecting to. The playable is just not what you always meant to be. When you try to play as a goaltender and you play for a Kuchekov, that is just a lot of hard of a fire to get this. But that one was turned to be straight away, turned out best that they, anybody can be. But that's why you can definitely feel like you've got to play it for a while, get a hard battle chance you have. And Slavin now fighting Natchez with under, under seven minutes to go. Stop made by Vizilevsky. Bunny. Tied up in the corner now fighting Stamkos. And Stamkos gives again to Gingel. Find Sherry. Sherry big hit. Slavin lose the puck. Peshke gives again to Drury. Lose the puck up for back to Perkins again to Gingel. Tampa Bay trying to force their way in. Stamkos, and it's taken down. Drury has that over. Carolina trying to get back down by one. 
We the win, say by Wazilewski. Showing half line step goes. Step goes right to the right wing. Fires the shot. That's gloved up by Kuchekov. Under six minutes left to remain in the second, and they're in a five minute mark in the period. Still a 4 2 game, Tampa Bay. Now they're up and ready to go. Pesky, Carolina to Ajo, and now back to Spetchikov. The pass over, now finding an open room. Give again to Spetchikov. Play of the way through the back, Ajo shot, big stop by Wazilewski. Under 5-3 left in the second period, still looking like they wanted to get this one close in. So early wins the faceoff as Devon gets again to Corbett. Here's this man. Big hair, long over it. Oh my goodness. Slavin, stop that puck. Trying to get right in over it to get in Svechikov. Terrifying in shot as Vesilevsky gets over to Too early. Too early finds Chappie. Chappie not finding his way. Should save by the goaltender. And Ago will now have it again at Svechikov. And a shot stopping it inbound. Off the wall and Hedman gets it over. Deep pass. And the power plays on for Tampa Bay. Slashing call on Tara Boynton. Not so good out there. I mean, that's what Simon doesn't do really well. Don't get right into this. Because nobody has a lot of great opportunity range. And that one hits him over. He tries to let it go, but he couldn't. He just had that one knocking in. He's in a penalty box. Win for Stall. Flings the puck up into the Tampa Bay zone. Bernice now has it over again to Sorelli. He's again to point. Point for Blake Bernice. Stop me by Kuchekov. Birds trying to fire it out. Recovered it and now back to Kucherov. Get to get the point. Point. Here's the Sorelli shot. No God save. Give the game to Radish. Air block shot made by Stahl. Out of the zone in play. The Lightning beginning to group again, trying to give up back to point. Sliding the puck inbound. Shoots it. Close save by Kochikov. Oh, well, he does. Just get there, pin time, get it done correct. Now, the reason why they call Thunderbird Bug is because of the Lightning. This is what happens because they appear in the hot weather after migrating from the cereal crops. Well, they do have a trend tendency to appear just prior to thunderstorms. They love hot and dry conditions. They don't really fly, but with a warm breeze, they can travel from plant to plant. And it's an excellent way. For the crops to be there, and that mascot is Thunderbird. Yeah, I know. Thunderbird is, Thug is definitely an excellent choice for them because the zap has to be what they are expecting because of that thunderstorm coming in for a bigger way. If you find things in Florida and Tampa Bay, you would definitely know how that happens. They can definitely just play like anybody's game and let it be. They can just try to like leave them alone, give them all they got. Ball shot, stop me by the goaltender. The Lightning power play is finished. 0-3 this time. They're trying to like stop it and bounce. I can't believe it. They're doing really what they are expecting it because the Hurricanes are trying to battle it in. They really wanted to try to stop him. But this is no way that they're trying to like let him do this. The wildcard team is definitely pushing him bound. Nobody has a chance to do this, but this is need to be a, a quick executive amount of time. They need to back that one in there before nothing gets away with this. Just pressuring in, don't let that one be out there tomorrow. Stop made by Vesilevsky. Is him out with the puck down into the left wing. Fitz Pistols! Another goal for the Lightning! Two goals for Ingram! And Staley! Just hard pressing to get signed for Ingram out, hopping away. 
the car, got that shooting rush from the top, learning the power fly, learning to do this. That is an excellent time, great work. Both two goals happen to be Brian Angle and Michael Isenow with 1.43 left to go in the second. And Burns has it across down, finding over with the open room. Burns pass again to Drury. Drury get a bunny shot. Big stop by Vizalevsky. Cherry trying to kick the fuck out of here. Now again to Burns. Drury shot. Big stop play. Pointing. Goes again to Slavin. Shot. Misses the target and it's off the defender's stick. Speeding it on his way down with the last minute left in a second. Step goes for a one time effort. It's blocked by Slavin. Back to Drury again to Jarvis. Here's Martino. Again to Jarvis. It's off to the skate and it goes as the headman will have to battle it over. Again to Radius. Point. To the right way. He went down with the big hit near the blue line. And Martino trying to have it back, but that revenge putback doesn't happen with the appearance. Slavin shot, stepped it away. Stall. Loose the puck up for it. Wardy is trying to hand it over to get to Kucherov. Ten seconds in the second period. Hegel got pumped out. And Chatfield has it again to Stall. Stall again to Jarvis. Another ball wraps it up the second period. Great goal for Isabel. But they're looking for a hat trick goals. We'll find out if there's one when we come back after the break. Last period left in the third of the sixth game of the playoffs. Well, folks, this is totally it. All comes down to this in game six. And this is where it comes in now. The start of the third goes to Svechikov. They brought their team back down by two. Well, it just went up and down. Andre Svechikov just eight seconds in the third period. Just got it for now he didn't really get that block in time. He could have probably gonna have that one in there. And that one would have blocked that block, the uh, blocker and the defenseman. But that glove catch, that was a little bit too light. And that one was whipped up there too soon and it just went in toward a knot. Not really happening enough, it just made in. Easier despite the saying this one here, this is what that's calling for. What happened is that the Buffalo Club was dropping in, and that one was bouncing right toward the puck. And it's just went in right toward the net. It didn't really help at all. And if he needs to get this one in right at the moment, they're trying to fix it up at the moment. They need to get this one in there at the right timing to get this one correct. The near interference call calls for Victor Edman. He'll get the power play for her case. We're blind that one with the defensive player. He was trying to like handle it off. But that one, you can't really do it that way either. That one's going to take over and that presser is going to leave him off the mark. You just don't try to take the rest of it if you have the right order. Landing now finds Gote. Gote toward the wing. Try to move it around. Firing the slap shot gets it away. As Ivo will try to liberate it off. Toward the center. Here's Furbix. Flings the puck out. A chance to find for Stretch of here to back to Burns again to Jarvis. Now Sebastian Ajo will have it covered in. Sliding across to get a butt aim. Block the shot as Lundberg will have it. And Monte will have it over to Everando. Deeps the puck down. Down his way to Stretch Kicks the puck. Rebound again. Now back to Budding. Going in again to Ajo. Under a minute in a power play as Sebastian Ajo lost the puck. Lennon in trying to have it over and back again to Furbix. Furbix fires that puck out. Inbound, finding Svechikov again to Burns. Burns passes to Jarvis. Jarvis right to the left wing. Lundberg's got that puck. Trying to handle it off, Jarvis again to Svechikov. Lilberg takes it back. Dumps the puck out into the Kane zone. 
And Svetchikov will have it over back again to Aho. Here's the pass to Burns. And it goes down to 10 seconds. That's right now, it's Victor Edmund will be coming out. And that ends the power play for the Carolina Hurricanes. They've been doing really well playing defense, but after that interference call, they're just keeping it alive. Yeah, it's about a while to hop into for Victor Hoppin. He is starting. He has to be very careful of it calling the interference as it's not turning what they were expecting to do. But that play ball is really going to be a hard take. It's not what they all expected it now because they need to get this one in there at the right timing. You know how hard it is? It doesn't mean for anybody. Look at this! The crowd is going wild! They feel the energy in the Emoli Arena! You know, I feel it. You know, you feel it. Everybody feels it. Here, everybody's been like letting him go with the air support. Here for Andre Vesilevsky. He just had that one with a wild, great save. They're really long, man. Nick Paul with the quarter. Kaski loses the puck up for this. Paul will now have it over. The kickover now finding again to be gone. The Hall lost the puck, and Nilsen will have it over. Spinning around across, finding Skedji. Takes the puck out. Now in front of says to begin to be on. Keep the pass over to Sherry. Sherry right toward the right wing. Moves it around, blank point shot. Blocked up for the rebound, stopped it again. Point gets the Sherry shot. Big pad save. For the rebound team. Puck taken over by Stitchy. Cock Kennedy with the puck, trying to answer it in. Nose in. Right through the left swing. Lost the effort. And boy has it again to Kucherov. Playing it over, now finding Hedman. And Drew will have it. Cut inbound. Lost the puck again. And Stepman will try to give over it back the air away. Loses the puck. Bunny. Toward the left wing. This is the upper. Heaven goes back the other way. My now he gives it over over to the passing again. And Hagel will have it to get a point. Point shot! Big stop line here! Jury now has that puck in the other side of the zone. With a chance effort. And Heaven gives it again to point. Past the 15 minute mark as point will now try to do something else. Kachikov with the puck stop. 14-29 left to go in the third. The NBA playoffs continues here as we have only have two games left to remain. As we only have this kind of a game. As we have the next one up. That means it's the Thunders facing against the Timberwolves at 9.30 game. So if you're watching this one, this is one is for you. That will be the next one on its way on the other side for a double headers game. And for tomorrow night, we've got a great matchup again. Game six happens to be the Leafs facing against the Bruins. That will be the first game at, at 8 o'clock p.m. Following along with the next game as the Golden Knights take on against the Vancouver Canucks at 930 game. And one game will be happening here. That will be the Cavaliers and the Heat. That's all the games here, only on Son of Beats. Here's Martin Oak with the drive to Orlov shot. What a big save by Vesilevsky. Bigger moment's not going to be picking it up that well, but an excellent rebound and recovering there with the save. He does it all. Andrei Shachikov is one of his skill up challenging to go with his uh, stick of his ability. That's why he's putting it up a little cross move and he's trying to look for it. Go from side, go up above in the net, or taking a little bit of a change over here with the trick shot. It's like unbelievable place. He's trying to see if he can definitely have it in with the skilling challenge to have that one of a great in a particular way. Stop by Kutchikov! Searching up three left to go in the third. All officials are getting set, ready for the face off. And the win for Sebastian Ahu. Here's Sheffield the deep pass to Tara Vinen. A pants and play to Svechikov. Broken the puck stick. And Kucherov gives it again to Kyle Bedman. Hedman spins it around to pass off the point. Point try to race it inbound. Fires it! Stop by Kucherov! Just 12.29 to go in the third. 
Still looking like they wanted to extend it. Now they're ready for the face off. Now the win for Ajo. Burns has it over to get a slaving. And Terabine it back to Stretchikov. Looks again. Sandy. Ajo with the rebound up for Ain Slaving. Blocked the shot. Point now has it over again to Kucherov. Rolling it in. Slavin with the puck steal. And Ajo will have it recovered. Back to already gets Svechikov shot. And he scores! That will be his second goal in the playoffs. Well, it's going to be turned out big. Everybody's going to be flying out there. You're going to get back to work here. Don't let anyone take over this. You know what happens? Svechikov really has done it again. That one just blinds that goal. And this is what the tape to tape feed puts in the Sebastian Ajo. Yes, three assists every night. And Svechikov had really taken it over with the goal. Got a great goal. The Crew Kings are down by one. Sebastian Ajo with 34 saves, trying to see if they can close this gap out under 12 minutes. And another win for the Carolina Hurricanes. Here comes Slavin. Odd man in the rush in the chain. Honey shot stopped by Veselovsky. And Angle will now have it over. Loses the effort. Burns grabs it back. On the full pressure. Closes out the gap. Lilbert trying to grab it out of here. And here's Burns back to Drury. Deflected off the skate. And now it's rolling again to Hagel. Rolls again to Lilbert. Lilbert trying to like move it around. The shot. In the middle, Say puts up here by Kuchikov. Oh, what a big stop! Natures with the puck, now spinning ahead. Looks it over. Burns with the shot. Big glove stop by Veselevsky. Here in the midway mark of the period, 5 4 to score. And the wind puts it in for the Lightning. Here's Sherry. Back to the airway it goes. Gets it get to Stemcoats. Stemcoats. Moves the puck upward. The Carricades are back in the office as Jarvis spits it up to Martinook. He's trying to get it race out of here. Firing the amount to stall. On a rebound chain. Stop the game. For a rebound chance. It's a stop made by Vizolovsky. This one's really going to keep out, out there for a long time. Not big air bound. Nothing going to be easy enough to get it for him. And another goaltender comes up with the save. Jarvis with the puck. Finds it over. Block the shot. This amount taking its own time. Moving in. Deflected off the skater. Now Peschke will have it over to deliver it again. Martin up. Gives it over now to Sebastian to Jarvis. Seth Jarvis shot. He scores! Retired up! And it's now a 5 5 game! Oh my, that's what Jarvis done. What a great goal! You know, I was really astounded at that one because the Jarvis, he was squirting down. That one really braced the rocket in. That one put it in with a big shine off. That was excellent. Jarvis made this one a great look of it. And in between the double defensive lineup, there's no way they can't let them stop and win it. And the win puts it in for the Lightning. Lightning trying to have an answer back to Ismael. And our pad stuck made here by the goaltender. You know, I ever happened out that that's what happened to Jarvis. He was really like into a better lane, a better offense he picks up. I mean, that tribe turned out he was really good. Taking his own better and a better chance at first. And you know, this wasn't really easy, but it happened to be. Because this was not always really the hard work that pays off. But you can always expect it when they are just doing it. It's just how hard it goes. Nothing really had happened. You gotta give that credit to them. That's the terrible and shot stopped made by Veselovsky. Pavo shot. He scores! Smetchikov, they're now in the lead. What a chance for Sebastian Avo. Here comes with the patchwork. 
Well, that would happen now. You can't let him win it. How will it happen? Yes, that deflected put it in as Sebastian Ajo. He just made that one firing him back. Take the deflection, and this one has dipped downward, and it's now a goal. What a great effort. Well, you can always say that the assist puts in for Thibaut Turavainen and then give to Sebastian Ajo. This was happened to be Svechikov's moment. That picks it up here with deflection, and this was not easy, easy to use. That happened with a, all turn out to be the uh, particular game. That is really what they are all calling for. Especially when this one deflected off, this one was really taking in the net of the blinded goaltender off and out of the way. They're really expecting it now to change what happens, but there might be another hat trick on the other side. Could be Hagel, or could it be Point? We may not know what will happen. And I have a great reeling of the range. The Sebastian Alco got a great look at his current eye. He's done really well, playing for his uh, best curricular of the, of the game in motion in his career. And this happened just all that did. I was pretty sure about the opinion. It's my take here, guys. Jack Fields skating across the stretch of car, and a stop made by Mazalowski. 7.30 left to go in the third. Trying to get back in to tie this game. Official game set, Bernie for a face off. Now the win puts it in here for Carolina. Such a call. Pippen takes the puck, puck away. Now rolls again to Eagle. Eagle. With a chance effort to tie again. He's <laughs> As their team. They played dirty already, but they were expecting, they want someone to upset them, and they wanted to see if they can get this one right into work. I was pretty stunned with this, guys, so hopefully this might come into overtime by at least a moment. Walker shot, and the puck sails out of the zone as Bird picks it up. And a big stop by the goaltender. Terrifying in right toward the corner, trying to pick it up to Spetchikov. Over with the shot, Angle the pass, save it again. Full pressure coming in the zone for Carolina, but Stepkos has it now. Shoots it, and stop made by Kuchikov. And look, it goes with the puck battling along the boards. Here's an hard chance here for the Lightning. And he now finds Sherry. Sherry shot, great blocker, stop made here. Ready, Ash. What a chance. Don't buy a bodies in the way, and slamming will not have it back. And a foul shot, and Vasilevsky gives it back to Kevin again to Stamkos. Blocked the shot again, that's Pesky. Pesky put the puck into the middle. Ranger bound, stopped by Vasilevsky. 517 left to go in the third period. Trying to look for an answer lead off in between Carolina or Tampa Bay. And they're ready to go. And the faceoff win will put in for Furbix. Furbix trying to give up to Kucherov. Kucherov right toward the middle, slot shot. And they're right to step here. Young gets the giggle shot. Big save! Kochikov still trying to deliver it off. Can now be delivered. Big energy group as Nick Paul wins the face off. The all lost that time as Bunny will have it over. Under five minutes left in the third period of regulation. And he gives over to Natchez. Natchez rolling it in. Now towards the back. Block a shot as this one gives off the purpose with a poke check. Now over to Bunny. 
but he went to the left wing. And Pesky loses the puck again. Trying to look the button to get off of and Blakey shot. Had saved up again. And here's the over with the line. Kucherov trying to handle it over back to Nagel. Nagel loses the puck. Trying to have it spill back, but it was taken over again. And Nagel trying to go for four. This one comes up. Natchez with the puck back. Weak is own. Chance but save. 3.43 left to go in the third period. Trying to look for another goal attack to get back in the lead. Now the win for the Lightning. He now has the pressure in there as Skitchy is trying to get right back into the other zone. The offense picks up the Svechikov. Dion takes the puck away. Now Paul goes down. The power play is going on to Carolina for the penalty. As now it's Tampa Bay's turn. Jordan Stoll in the penalty box. He will now have another chance for you to have a lead. Well, this is what they did. I mean, because of Jordan Stahl, he took somebody over. That's going to be an easy call. Now they're laying at Tampa Bay. Do the thing. Do the job and get it done. Will this be a lead or stay the same? The whip puts in for Carolina as Burns tries to knock it out. And it's Paul. Here's a good pass. Oh, what a great stop here by Kochikov. Throws out of play. Now, you don't see what often the power play really gone stripping up. It's not what you just really do. Kochikov, got to get that one piece out of here. That really is going to pick up a wild save in it, and it just went straight up. A lot of time over the period. Tie game. Next one could be a leadoff score. And a win puts it in for Carolina. Fires it up. Kevin now gets to get to Stemkos. Stemkos with his way down. They call with the rebound. Fires the shot. That's off the defender and gets again to Drury. Banks from the corner of the wall. Victor Edmund gives it again to Stemkos, and now Paul with the ball, buck and bound. Cut him out, doesn't happen. Bird takes it over to get a Slavin. Slavin to Drury. Lifts the puck up in the air. And Edmund will have it over. Under three minutes left to remain in that regulation period, trying to get a power play goal. Chance at Bird. Burns with the puck steal. Keeps the puck alive. Drury trying to hand it over back the other way and dump the puck out of the zone. Here's an take for Steven Stamkos. He gives it again to Kevin. Kevin over again. Ball shot. Big stop by Kachikov. It's Mound. For a little Big chase. Big score. <laughs> Pesky over to Terravine. Misses the cross. And it's back to Victor Edmund. Right toward the right wing. The slot gets the Stemco shot. Big save by Kochikov. Sketchy barreling for the bucket bounce. In the corner firing Ago. Ago gets the Terravine. They're bringing the next to the tackle on. They're in the final minute of the third. And he loses that puck ever. Such a cop is sketchy. Fires it! Off the deflection and back to Terra Winding. Sketchy. Give it game to Pesky. Here's Bunning shot. Miss it! Kucherov back to Hartman. Oh, pumps it out! And Eagle. 
trying to have that one attacker back out. Skenji has no time left. They're bringing an extra skater on. Goaltender comes on the bench. Drury shoots. Big save. Natchez battling for the puck. And Randy sends it over. On with the steal. That's high. Glove save. Unbelievable moment for Veselovsky. And it seemed like the Tampa Bay Lightning's are going to tie the series up. Yeah, you know what happens now because Veselovsky made it so they got great appearances now. They're putting up a great miles in the safe. They're letting that go with a firing bound. They are really pushing it off on a great pace. Major shot. Save. Down to 10 seconds. Halo will be able to take a deep and win the game. <laughs> Guess what happens? Victor Van Vliet just made an empty goal. He's going to score for the tip. The Lightning striking back in Game Six, and this is no more happening. They are heading to Game Seven for a dead battle raging between the Hurricanes and the Lightning. And that's going to do it. We also look to the fans, we say Thunderbird, we give a good welcome back to Game 7. That's what happens now, you got to play it like you mean. And that will do it for the sixth game of the night. OJ along with Woods Bernie and Tyler Reese. Thanks for joining us for the Stanley Cup playoffs. We'll see you all again for next time. Have a good night, everybody. All right, guys, thank you so much. Mitchell Chappie was a third star player. He had two goals in this game. Turned out to be an excellent player when you know it. The second star goes to Andre Spachikov with three goals, one assist, and two hits. Had that one with a better range and effort. Better playable, had the Sebastian Ajo to deflect it in, had a lead. But now, it's now or never, someone takes the first star, Brandon Abel. Four goals and eight hits. After a hat trick to tie that game up, they now have it in there to bring it in with a great rebound and take back. What an ex-fan favorite. Now with the power play goal puts it in for Tampa Bay Lightning, they've done excellent on their effort to do it again. For the total, the total statistics, 79 over 77 for total shots of goal for Tampa Bay Lightning, it was 67 over 61 for Tampa Bay Lightning's on a kick. Then 616 over 607 for Carolina Hurricanes' time on attack. And it was 92, close range in between Tampa Bay and Carolina, but the face off win puts in for 38 for Carolina over 30. Six minute penalty kill was Carolina, and four minute penalty kill was Tampa Bay Lightning. One power play goal with 523-32 in the third period. Bring up to Mitchell Chaffee's power play goal. He now has 10 games in a playoff game. Well, as you know for now, that concludes this game. I hope everybody's enjoying yourself. And with that one, they'll be heading back to Carolina for for win to head into the Eastern Conference Finals for the Tampa Bay Lightning or Carolina Hurricanes. This might be what their take is, but we'll see what happens, how well they do. And for that, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all again next time. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This is Test 2. And fan, thanks for watching. Have a great night, everybody, and so long in Tampa Bay, Florida. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.